Well, I, I love radio plays because you recreate a piece of history, but you also have to create suspense on the stage. And Halloween was the perfect time to do something like Sorry, Wrong Number and The Hitchhiker. So that's why I wanted to do it. I love radio plays. I get to use my voice. Plus, everything's written down. You don't have to memorize a thing, which for old guys makes it easier. Well, the beautiful thing about about the audio part of it, like doing a radio play, is that you use your imagination more than if everything's done for you on the TV and everything's presented. Your mind comes into play a lot more, so it's actually more interactive and more suspenseful. Yeah, you have three voices in the end, sorry, wrong number, and then one voice in The Hitchhiker. Well, uh, one of them's a little like this. That's Sergeant Duffy. And then uh, these the uh, Western Union guys. Uh, hello, Western Union. And then the operators. Well, if you you know, I can help you out if you like today. And and then the last voice is just my voice because that's the way Juliana wants it, and she is the boss. Oh, I've got a fabulous cast. I'm actually missing one of our people today at this rehearsal, but we've got. Rick Phelps from Mammoth and Jim Marcott from Mammoth and Sue Yates from Bishop and Alice Suzinski from June Lake and Mike Dostro from Crowley Lake. Does that count? Sunny Slopes. Sunny Slopes, excuse me. And Maureen McLean from Mammoth Lakes and Tim Casey from Mono City. Tim Casey, who's not choosing to sit here, is, is extremely valuable in the radio play. This was an era when people had imagination, and sound effects helped the imagination come into play. It's a beautiful thing, and we really hope to see all of you on October 31st and November 1st. So whoever decides to come by is going to be in for a treat, I think. Well, it has suspense, and that's a good thing. I think that's a good prelude to the evening for Halloween. It sets the mood. They should go to www.edisontheater.org, theater spelled T-H-E-A-T-R-E. Buy your tickets, by the way, in advance, $12 or $10 for seniors and students. Otherwise, it's $14 at the door. Come and join us. It's going to be a lot of fun, and we hopefully will scare you just a little bit for Halloween. about this program is that it features two of our beloved genius composers alongside with the composer Frank Bridge, who was an English composer at the beginning of the 20th century, who wrote an amazing piece of music, but it's not one of the well-known pieces of the chamber music repertoire. It's called Fantasy Quartet, and it's a really beautiful piece that I think makes a very nice contrast to the two beloved pieces, pieces by Mozart and Brahms that we're playing on the same program. For this performance, we will have our friend Andrew McIntosh join us. He's an excellent violist, and uh, we're very excited to play piano quartets, which is a slightly different dynamic. Um, there's uh, The fourth player really brings in different colors, and it becomes almost a string versus piano kind of playing, much more so than a piano trio. This upcoming concert takes place Saturday, November 1st, 7.30 p.m. at Saracoso College in Mammoth Lakes. You can get tickets online at chambermusicunbound.org. I should say we're repeating this program in Ridgecrest on Sunday, November 2nd at 4 p.m. There's also information on our website about that concert as well. Please come join us for this extraordinary program um, of beloved pieces by Mozart, Brahms, and the not-so-well-known Frank Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> 